there's been some massive changes to NHL 24 and I think some of it is because of me. In this video we will talk about the last two patches that EA has released during the past week. Also you'll see my recent hot highlights but let's get started. Most of you probably know what happened a couple weeks ago in one of my world championship games with me taking advantage of the full pressure and the offensive zone park racking thing. I will not go into detail anymore. Check this video if you're interested of what I'm talking about. But the day after I uploaded this video Mike the creative director of EA Sports NHL contacted me on Twitter and he wanted my help. He was okay for me to share this conversation to you guys. So here's the essence of it. There was three main questions that Mike asked me. His first question was, should they even be considering changes to any core meta systems given that the world championships are already going on? To that I answered, I believe it's always better to change the game for the better. Especially broken mechanics or mechanics that just don't work. And it's on players to adapt. Some competitive players might disagree with me on this. Everybody competing needs to realize that we are 1% of the players. Base. At the end of the day, we need to look at the big picture to see what makes this game better. His second question was to figure out how a player can adjust strategies on the fly to a situation such as I was employing to close out the game. So what I answered was the first step is just to let us change our base defensive strategies mid gameplay because you can only do it while intermissions are going on after whistles right now. And this was my big thing. For the future, I think there should be a button which when you press it, you could double team a pack carrier or a button which you press it where your players go all out aggressive towards the opponent. Honestly, if you could do stuff like this to control our AI better, playing time, ragging, whatever you want to call it, would never be an issue. The last question was, should they shorten full pressure substantially to remove over manipulation of the advantage? So to that, I just said that I was worried about the full pressure from the beginning. I got to fly out to Vancouver in August to test this game and that was my biggest worry of the game. I thought from day one puck position should only be just a tiny factor because honestly I saw it coming a mile away that people will abuse this in tournaments. Like they should, it's not on the players to not play the optimal way the game gives you to play, right? I do like the idea of the pressure system a lot. I think it needs a lot and lot of balancing from my experience so far. It's way too overpowered when you get it active and it is also way too easy to activate. But my idea to the devs was to actually reward shooting and hitting and active play way more in the pressure meter and reward puck possession way less. But yeah, I continued that shortening the pressure helps, but I would remove it in the first place or I would substantially just make it worse. And then I said, maybe just make it drain energy and don't touch the attributes at all when full pressure is active. And like Mike said, shorten it. But then I had to give one positive about the full pressure to Mike. It has cut down on players being passive and just collapse in front of their net on defense. Because prior to the patches, if you did that, your opponent would get full pressure really easily with just cycling the puck. So that's the reason I've switched from playing passive defensively in the prior NHLs to aggressive to this one and it has made most of my games more fast flowing. But as I mentioned above, I think the negatives outweigh the positives in this situation. We talked a bit more as well, but that was the essence of our conversation. And the week after this conversation, there was a patch to full pressure, which massively reduced the amount of pressure gained through offensive zone puck position. They also removed the pinned attribute debuff for the defensive team and removed the endurance boost to the offensive team also. So this was the first time I felt like my actions and my comments kind of made a patch happen. Maybe it's a coincidence, Maybe they would have done this either way, but the timing is convenient and I love to see it honestly. I've never seen EA react to a problem they see is happening this quickly and try to fix it. So props to EA, but I want to talk about the other changes they've done to the game too. They increase the fatigue which hustling gives to your player and also when you're low on energy your players don't hustle full speed. They also added back the option to bump players in front of the net without the puck, which might be interference to be honest, but it helps us defend in front of our own net and to defend those forced cross Creases. and the hustling thing makes straight line skating less effective so I like what they're trying to do. The other big thing was they changed a lot of goalie animations. I don't know if they're trying to make the goalies better but I hope not because I think goalies are way too good as they were overall too hard to score on but I wouldn't make them more superheroes than they already are but I haven't played the patch we need to see. Also they added better reads to smaller goalies and higher reads to taller goalies. So is the meta going to change with tall goalies being good? We'll see. They're trying to address that as well. So yeah a lot of changes has happened. Let me know what you think 
of the patches. Also, do you agree, disagree with my opinions? What did you think about my conversation with Mike? Let me know in the comments. There's a good chance somebody from EA sees them. So what has happened in my hot team during the last couple of weeks? So we played two hood champions, finished 19 and 1 in both. And I've also played rivals. I finished platinum last week. I've been focusing on the world championships, so I will have shorter highlights of the best pools that I got and my best goals from the hood champions and from the rivals. And I'll see you in the next video continuing the world championship qualifiers. Enjoy. Here's my rivals rewards from the past week. We finished the platinum. 84 point, 84 Kubranza, not looking good. This game day card might actually go up quite a bit, but I doubt enough to put him in the lineup. I had such a good feeling. <gasps> okay, what is- it's a power up icon, right? Dude, oh my god. If the game gives me duplicate Kretzker Lemio, I, I would be pretty pissed off, honestly. <laughs> It's not like I will use it no matter who it is. Unless it's Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe is the only card that I think would go to the line. Let's open. Okay, Martin Brunner. That's it. <laughs> yeah, probably something we should have expected. Obviously, All-Star Chara would be pretty perfect right now. <laughs> you can always hope. Ugh. Come on, I haven't put something in a while. Make it happen, eSports. Ooh, green card. Okay, and it's tradable as well. Come on, it doesn't matter if it's duplicate. Mario! Oi, 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 oi. All-star Eichel! Alright, alright. Should we keep or sell the Eichel? I don't know. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Our icon. Alright, let's see. Teemu Selälle! Alright! I probably won't use him, even though he's a good card. But he's probably valuable. I, I know you can make him with gold cards, but he's one of the more, more expensive ones. Irekoski? Alright. Another all-star card. There we go. We're starting to get pulls. I don't know if we should sell or keep the all-star cards though. Nice. <laughs> Makina. I only shoot and score. Fuck woman. He's you can go. Beautiful. Yo! Oh my god, dude, he got destroyed! Nice Lemia. Two way Lemia. <laughs> mirror. Mirror. One hander. Dude, one hander is so good. Why haven't I used this before? <laughs> Ooh, la la. He's one hander. Dude, these one handers, why haven't I done this before? Oh my god, I'm scoring so much with the one hander. Beautiful, what a play. Let's get it. Two Takus, beautiful. That's a great play. From start to finish, you know. McKinnon, McKinnon, backhand, nice, beautiful McKinnon. Oi, Mac David. Oi, 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 that's a nasty goal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got one tip. Oh. <laughs> Go. What a play. Always one hit. Dude. Where's his goalie? What? I just saw that all of the sudden I had a wide open net. Past, dude. What a play, that's so nice, man. That's, a, that's such a beautiful goal. 